Nefertiti was the princess of the Armenian kingdom of Mitanni. In the summer of 1887, south of Cairo, near the region of Amarna, they accidentally discovered Egypt's 18th dynasty. The archives that they discovered was important not only for Egypt, but for other countries in the region. 300 clay tablets were discovered. The clay tablets contained the records of diplomatic correspondence of the pharaoh Amenhotep III and IV. The correspondence were between Huri Mitanni, Babylon, Assyria, Kati, and with other countries. So that you can get a good understanding of the plot of the story, I made a list of the names of key characters on a chart. These clay tablets reveal that the kingdom of Huri Mitanni played an important political and economic role in the region. <coughs> Huri Mitanni kingdom was an important commercial junction between the neighboring countries. Huri Mitanni kings ruled Syria, Palestine. The Egyptians wanted to start a mutually beneficial military campaign with the Huri Mitanni kingdom for the region of Syria, Palestine. In the inscriptions of the Egyptian pharaohs, they write with pride that they raided Huri, the Hurian lands, Nairians lands, destroyed it, burned, and returned with a big trophy. However, these repeated invasions did not always come with success to the Egyptians. Otherwise, they would have organized many frequent campaigns to the Armenian highlands. They eventually stopped doing this. The relationship between the kingdoms of Mitanni and Egypt went back many years. In fact, it went back centuries. The pharaoh Tutmosis III, in the third, 33rd year of his reign, while he was in the Armenian highlands in 1446 BC, Tutmosis III of Egypt referred to the people of Armenians and says in their, their land, heaven rests upon its four pillars. Under the reign of Tutmosis IV, friendly relations were established between Egypt and Mitanni. King Arta Tama was a king of Hurrian kingdom of Mitanni. The daughter of King Arta Tama was married to Tutmosis IV. When you look at this charge, you can see that there was intermarriage between the Egyptians and the princesses of the kingdom of Mitanni. Amenhotep IV changed his royal name to Akhenaten. Akhenaten married Nefertiti. The pharaoh of the Egyptians welcomed the Mitanni princess with great grand event. The Egyptians liked their new bride very much. The princess of the Armenian kingdom of Mitanni who became known as Nefertiti, or the beautiful has come in Egyptian, introduced her native Armenian Mithraic religion to the Egypt, which under her husband Akhenaten, who was also of Mith Mitanian ancestry, became known as the Atonism or Atonism. After the main deity Aton or Aton, represented by the symbol of the sun disk, in the unified kingdom of Egypt.